Hi everyone and welcome to my channel. So today I'm going to be doing an as the haul. I thought I'd show my face this time rather than just pointing at things. Um, let us know if you like it like that or if you just prefer to not see my face. Um, so yeah, I spent £60.28 and I thought I'd show you what I got. I need to do it quickly because I've been on the phone to my mum and I think needs to go in the fridge kind of thing. So I'll start with a meat. So I've got a whole cooked chicken and that was £3.28. Um, I have said before that the meat was a bit like yellowy. Um, but obviously I've looked at the date and I got it from the back. I did notice that they've got stuff that's going to go out of date like tomorrow or the next day. Like right at the front. So this was right at the back. I got that. So that was £3.28. And it's a large chicken. I also got the chicken mini fillets. These tasted fresh last time I got them. So I got them again. And I'm going to make a... Um, chicken and pesto pasta bake with like cheese the kids absolutely love it oh with a broccoli in i thought it was one ingredient missing so yeah the kids absolutely love it so that's what i'm doing for tea i'm just going to quickly put these in the fridge so yeah i've got them i also got some seafood crab sticks i got um a cucumber do you know i got a cucumber because i thought do you know what it is i was looking at it and i was thinking i remember when my mum used to make us like my mom i'm from lancashire and i'm from up in the north as well so like my accent will switch like sometimes i'll call her mom sometimes i'll call her mum <laughs> um so yeah, I really wanted like cucumber sandwiches. So I got one of them. 12 pork sausage rolls for £1.40. I'll just quickly put these in the fridge. Does anyone else do that? Just like hoi it in. Um, Pattern of whoopsies blueberries, 50 pence. And also a big packet of breaded ham, 10 slices. For this we do omelette or what I have bought is to do like ham salads. Um, my mother-in-law is doing like diet things like she's just eating that a little bit healthy and she's been having ham salads and they look really nice so I thought hmm, do you know what you just want like a ham salad. Um, so I got there. Two seconds guys. Right I'm back. So next I got some strawberries at £2, some creamy coleslaw, you know bubble? Right, I'm back again. So yeah, if you didn't catch what I said, creamy coleslaw, that was 79 pence I think. Some strawberries for £2. I got some salad. Uh, whoopsies again and it was 42 pence for mixed salad I got one two packs of that then I've got a baby leaf salad should have been a pound I got it for 50 pence so I'll just put them in quickly Does anyone else get that mean? You've just got to like hoi it all in. So yeah, oh, two more fridge things. So I got some pork pies. They were quite expensive. They were like £1.40 I think for them. £1.40. So Bertoli butter that was £1.50. I got the light in that, the light one. Some Mediterranean, Mediterranean oh, medallion chicken. <laughs> My god, my words aren't coming out today. So, <laughs> all right, brief. Eight smoked bacon medallions. That is what I've got for £2. 
Right. My oldest has been given a challenge by his te teachers to make quiche. He doesn't like quiche. Absolutely hates quiche. So I says to him, right, I, do you want me to buy the ingredients and you, like, make a quiche and I'll eat it because I love quiches. And basically, he doesn't even want to touch or anything about a quiche. So I says, right, we'll get this one, try a quiche, see if you like it again because i think you tried a quiche when he was about five or something he's 10 now um and then we'll go from there and also we'll tell his teacher that he's tried a quiche and then we're gonna you know because i'm not gonna make him make something that he doesn't want to make and they're only giving him like one dojo point for making it um a milkshake but me oldest just ripped the package off and it was one of them yahoo yeah yahoo milkshakes for a pound chocolate i think let's have a look yeah chocolate you got i can't stand chocolate uh what else did i get a wholemeal loaf toilet roll but the toilet roll is missing because we all just needed the toilet fabric conditioner lavender this was two pound smells amazing I got, oh my god, I don't know how I'm going to show these, be my cells. Six bottles of water for £2.50. I got these, right, for my youngest, well, he's five, he's my middle child. <laughs> I always call him my middle child. He's called Lewis, if you want to know, he's called Lewis. Um, and I thought, right. Because he's been struggling at the moment with like, like learning and the whole lockdown thing. Like, if anyone else is like that, like please let us know. So I'm not like alone. Um, but yeah, he, he's not been coping that well with it, shall we say? Because um, he he was just getting used to like um, being with his friends, enjoying school. Because he used to absolutely hate school. And just when I've got him settled. His teachers have got him settled. He's like, his learning's going right up there. We're going lockdown. So it's been a thing of like trying to keep him calm, happy, everything a child should be. Um, yeah, so he's, he's struggling a little bit at the minute. So I thought, right, these are going to perk him up. And we're going to read them before bed. Um, he has got other books, but he's lost interest because they're a little bit babyish. Um, so it's a Spider-Man Dark's Web and I thought they were really cool because like for £1.50 the story looks brilliant and he's going to absolutely love reading these before bed like just everything he would want in a book and for £1.50 uh, it's called The Little Readers um, so yeah for £1.50 I thought that was a bargain and then they had loads. They had like Tangled, is it Tangled? The Disney movie with the the girl with the blonde long hair. Um, and also they had Cars, Lion King. They had loads. Um, but these were more for him. Uh, Avengers. Oh my battery. Back again. Hopefully we'll get through it this time. So I've got. I don't know if I showed this one. It was the Avengers Battle Against the Black Order. Apparently that's Black Panther and Hulk who's told us. Um, so they're just like little stories like that. Um, and I thought like for £1.50 you can't really go wrong. So yeah, I've got them there. Pat it off bananas. They were £1.00. Some beetroot for the salad. What is all this now? Um, for I think that was seventy nine pence. Packet of wipes. Another packet of wipes. Toffee crisp, four and a pack. They were a pound. And aero peppermint. There was a pound before as well. Cadbury's 
dairy milk caramel for, for a pound, a suede for the chicken dinner, 7-Up lemon, lemon lime cherry flavour free sugar, we've had two already. Next I got a surf, it is the coconut bliss one. Green pesto for the green the pesto pasta broccoli bake thing. The broccoli that was a whoopsie twenty nine pence. For the salads I got some of these. These were a whoopsie also. These are twenty five pence bargain. Reese's pieces they were a pound. Obviously the order's favourite. They're all gone. These were 25 pence also, it should have been a pound, this is my favourite, a galaxy triple chocolate cake, they had a Maltese one but this is the one that we chose but it just looks so nice, if you can see that, how nice does that look, so for a little treat that was two pounds. Uh, if you know my kids, you'll know that they absolutely love beans. So I got one, two, and three. I got some garden peas, just the 21 pence tin to go with the chicken dinner. I really fancied a cabbage because I haven't had one for years with me dinner. A packet of nectarines. They look really fresh as well. Um, they were a little bit expensive. They were like one pound fifty, I think, or one pound forty-nine. Some garlic apples, chocolate waffles, a packet. Well, the other ones here, but me and little boys had one, and they were one pound something. So um, as there's own crumpets, they were 59 pence, but the Warburton's was a pound, but to be honest, they looked exactly the same. I don't know about the taste. Jacket potatoes, if you know my kids again, you'll know that they love jacket potatoes with cheesy beans or tuna. I um, oh, forgot to get a tuna. Um, but I persuaded me orders to have like a little bit of salad with one tonight, so we'll see how that goes. Big pot noodle, it should have been a pound, it was actually 50 pence, so I grabbed one of them. Some free range eggs, um, do you know what I've noticed with people is that, right I'm going to have to be quick because like he needs sorting out, uh, free range eggs, when I was in there, um, they were actually like up high so I was trying to get them because they were open and all the other packets were open and there was this one woman and she was just like <sighs> and I was like you can see what I'm doing I'm slowly trying to get the eggs because I wanted these ones I didn't want to pay any extra for any other eggs like I oh she really infuriated us um so I got these and then I'm there pushing it in because obviously like you've got to be careful with eggs i didn't want the eggs to go everywhere and i'm lifting them up high and i'm trying to push it in and she's there going and i was like you can see what i'm doing i'm not just standing there on purpose so you can't get your eggs i'm trying to like put it back in so they don't go all over the rest of me shopping um and she was just like moot like wouldn't see anything and it really gets us angry like when people are like that. Um, so six large Yorkshire puddings. And that is everything I got. Thank Lord. <laughs> so yeah, that come to £60 and 28 pence. If you like this video, then please hit the thumbs up and subscribe. Um yeah, and also I had another dilemma in Asda. There was a worker and obviously another customer um, and there's no arrows anymore. I don't know what's happening to all the stores. It's like that in B&Q, there's no arrows. Um, obviously you've got to keep your two metre distance. Um, but it was just like, I, I was, I 
I have two seconds. You can go out in a second. It's raining though. What? You have to wait. Oh, huh? I don't. Uh huh. In a second. Cute. He's two year old and he's just like the cutest. He's had a haircut like normally he has like really... Oh my! Was that you? Yeah. Was that you? Uh, Are you pumping? Yeah. Yeah. Um. So yeah, there was a woman and a worker woman and obviously a customer. Uh, and there's no arrows anymore. And obviously you've got to keep your two meter distance still. Um and like me and my oldest was coming round the corner and I was nowhere near her or the customer, like nowhere near. I could understand if I was near her, but I wasn't. Um and then like do you know what really gets to me? Like <laughs> is um people that say things under the breath but they know that they're aiming in it aiming it at you and it's just like well if you're gonna say something then just say it to me don't say it under your breath um and it, oh it really got to us so she walks past and she goes you wouldn't think that there's arrows would you and i was like like is she saying that to me and because as she was saying it i was like literally coming around her but like i'm not joking there was like this well obviously i can't show you on camera there was like this much of a gap so i wasn't nowhere near her um and then the customer was like yeah i know what you mean and i was like excuse me like if you're gonna say something like say it quite clearly to my face um and she was like well there's arrows on the floor and i was like are you blind there's no arrows on the floor there was nothing there um and other customers was like looking at me like is she really talking to like like to me like that um because there was no arrows on the floor like no one could work out what she was on about um and in the end, I was just like, you need to go and see somebody. Like, you really do. If you think there's hours on the floor, you need to go and see somebody, Petal, because there's no hours on that floor. Um. So, yeah. And I walked around another bit of the aisle, and I seen that they were there. Um, and do you know what really, really I found funny? That um, she was on about that, and she was like, this close to the customer and I just thought you need to go and teach yourself how to do the two metre rule so yeah um, it's just absolutely laughable um, I did want to go and see the manager oh god I did want to go and see the manager because um, I thought like she needs to up her customer service skills but then I thought you know what no I'm happy you're not ruining my day um, you're the one that's stuck working at ASDA um, and me, I can do whatever I want and I'm happy, I've got me shopping, I'm doing what I need to do, you're there working, so yeah, that's how I see it. So if you like this video, please hit that thumbs up and subscribe if you want to see more and also by the way, before all the Sharons come running at me, or the Karens or whatever you want to be called. Um, I don't thingy anyone working at Asda or Lidl or Aldi. Just if you've got that sort of tone, I don't think you should be working there. That's what I think. Anyway, so yeah, bye!